It's December 4th and Eden has already gone through the work of doing an update for Metroid Prime 4. If you saw my last video, this game did not work. You were able to get it on your emulators. It would load, go black screen, and then crash. So they have made progress. Now this isn't for their stable releases. As you can see in the Discord here, I highly recommend joining for updates, especially when a new game comes out. But as you can see, Moffit says it now boots and renders audio correctly. And then the build needed to play the game is right here. Now this doesn't mean the game will run smooth, which you'll see later in the video, but they have made progress on getting to that point. So I'm just going to highlight this is a nightly release and was not tested properly. Issues may occur and support will be limited. Happy gaming. And they even have a thread for Metroid Prime 4 issues. But let's go ahead and try it. So here's the nightly release linked in the Discord. Grab this file here. I'm on Windows, so I'm doing the Windows MSVC AMD64. That is done. So here's the nightly build. I'm going to make my own folder here. Nightly build. Highlight everything inside and drag it in. This one's a little bit different than a normal Eden setup. Okay, that's in. Let's go ahead and start it. Your path should all be the same still, so I have it all ready to go. If you don't have Eden set up already and you don't have your keys and firmware, check the pinned comment and I can help you get that set up before you try this game. Let's run it. There's the loading icon. Bit of a black screen and we're loading in. That is progress. We love to see that. Also, just for cl clarification, my graphic enhancer is currently on 0.5. I'm not sure if that helps. It might come with its own issues, but I just wanted to let you know. Now again, I want to emphasize that this game is brand new, and this build is brand new. It's a nightly version, brand new game, you're going to have some issues. So make sure to check the pinned comment. If I have any updates for you, I will let you know right there. There's definitely still some audio lag. Now this isn't very far into the game, but at this point, even with my 0.5 graphic enhancer, it does crash. So this game isn't fully playable, but there has been tons of progress. So make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for future updates on whether or not we can play this game.